Hey, 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 this is Christine, your DIY craftaholic. Welcome back to my wonderful subscribers and welcome to you if you are new. Thank you for stopping by today. After today, you are family, so please consider subscribing. This video is a part of the monthly fourth Friday open collaboration, which is hosted by Sarah and Lisa. I'll share a little bit more about the collaboration and the host, but for today I'm sharing four quick and easy black and white Valentine's Day DIY inspirations. So without further ado, let's get crafting. So for DIY number one, I took this neutral wooden sign from Dollar Tree that has the beads on it. I loved it as it is, but decided to just make it even better. After removing the insert, I tried to remove the paper so I could, you know, paint it over. But that was proving a little bit difficult, so I just gave up. And then just gave it one coat of white Waverly chalk paint. This is a hymn I downloaded from the internet as a free printable. It's actually a vintage hymn or it has a vintage look, but my printer is black and white, so it's perfect. <laughs> so I had to place it over the paint while it was still wet, but I'm just making sure to line it up properly before I actually put it down. And once I got it down, I used my hand to just smooth it out. I also use this Mod Podge roller to get any air bubbles that may have been underneath. And then just use a sanding block to sand off the excess, sanding it down in a downward motion. And now it's time to work on the frame. I use the scraper tool to loosen the staples and boy, I tell you, I had to apply some force. And then just use some Waverly chalk paint in ink to paint the frame. I only gave it one coat because this paint is so thick. And after that, I applied some heat for quick drying. I really don't like to wait for paint to dry naturally. And so I appreciate having a heat tool. Now for this one, I'm calling it DIY number two. It's actually both of them I'm working on at the same time. I'm painting these beads, the beads that came off the frame with some white acrylic paint. At first I thought I could paint them on the string, but then I had to put them on a skewer. And after I painted them, I set them aside to dry and now I'm returning back to the frame. Here I'm just applying some Mod Podge using this cool Mod Podge brush that I got in my plaid box. Oh, I love it so much. I also love my little pink heat gun. <laughs> like I said, I don't like to wait for paint to dry naturally because I bulk craft. And so the quicker I can get through my crafting with the help of my tools, that just works perfectly for me. I have a link for that in the description box below if you are interested in my, li my little pink heat gun. So now it's all dry, I replaced the insert and then made a little bow from this black and white gingham ribbon that I got from Amazon last year for about $5.99. 50 yards of ribbon for $5.99. You can't beat that. And to spruce up my little frame, I took this white chalk pen from Dollar Tree and just added some stitch marks. I find that the stitch marks just make the project just pop and it just gives this one a rich high-end look. So I glued the bow on, flipped it over and use the same string that the beads were on. I just added a piece of tape at the end and just fed it back through the staple and then I glued that down. Okay, so as I mentioned, this challenge 
is being hosted by Sarah of Jujubee DIYs. If you're looking for inspiration on cottage core, home decor, seasonal DIYs, check out her channel. She has all of that. And our second host is Lisa of Our Grey House. On Lisa's channel, you will find inspiration for budget-friendly DIYs, travel, and food. So be sure to check out these ladies' channels as well as all the other talented crafters on this playlist. I will leave the links for both the hosts as well as the playlist in my description box below. So let's get back to crafting. Now we're ready for DIY number two. So I took this little chalkboard tag and applied a coat of black chalk paint on the reverse side. And then I'm just adding some Mod Podge. And once that was dry, it was now time to assemble the garland. I already had some black wooden beads and that was perfect. So I didn't have to paint any beads black. So here I'm just laying them out according to how I want to string them on the twine. And here I have it all strung up. Now for the tassel, I took this piece of foam board I had and it was the perfect length. So I cut a small piece of the twine and placed that at the top. And this is just one way that I make my tassels. And I wrapped the twine a few times, I lost count. But you can wrap it as many times as you want your tassel to be full. Then I slipped it off and tied the top and then tied a piece around maybe about an inch down from the top to form a little bulb and then just cut the bottom open. And here I'm just tying on the tassel to the garland and when I was done tying I fed back the loose end back up into the beads. And then I tied on the heart at the other end and there was still a little looseness between where the beads and the tassel or the heart met. So I just took a piece of the ribbon and wrapped that round, around it a couple times and glued it down. Now I didn't like that I was still seeing the jute so I took some black paint with a fine paintbrush and just cover that area. And we're done. Now we're on to DIY number three. Now this is a Valentine's decor piece with a little heart on top. Removing the label was a pain. I had to apply some heat to get that off. Now I want to keep the border or to keep just a little border around what I'm doing. So I cut down pieces of painter's tape and covered the edges, maybe about half of an inch. Then I painted it with one coat of Waverly black chalk paint. But even after putting on the one coat and drying it, I could still see the words. So I gave it a coat of apple barrel black acrylic paint and dried that and that did the job. Now this is from one of the string of wooden love signs from the Dollar Tree. Off camera, I removed the word love. I gently cut it out. I painted it with two coats of Waverly white chalk paint. And I also painted one of these little hearts as well. And this I printed off the Buffalo check pattern from the internet. And I will use that to cover the pink heart. So here's one of my favorite parts the tape removal. <laughs> here I'm just trying to figure out where best to place this little heart. And here comes the buffalo check ribbon again for another small shoelace bow. 
Now to work on the heart, I traced it out on the paper. And then looking back after I completed everything, looking back, I thought to myself, I should have painted out the pink with some of the either white paint or the black paint. But at the time I didn't do that. So I then applied a generous amount of Mod Podge to the surface, then used this Mod Podge brush to spread it before I placed the paper down. And then I'm just using this Mod Podge roller, I got this from Plaid as well, to smooth out any ear bubbles that may be underneath. And then again, just use a sanding block to sand off the excess in a downward motion. And then just applied some more Mod Podge to the top of it now to seal it in. And now it's time to embellish. Now when I looked at the little heart, I thought it was too white. So I took some black paint and just drew some lines down on it. And then I glued it, glued on the word with some Dollar Tree wood glue and little beads of hot glue. And then just dovetail the ribbon and glue that on. Now don't ask me why I didn't apply the Mod Podge. At the time I was working on the top, I don't know why I didn't do it at that time, but anyway. And you may be wondering why am I using two different Mod Podge if there's anything, you know, particular? No, no particular reason. I just grabbed what was at hand at the time and use it. Now to add a pop of color, I took one of these tiny rows that came in a pack from the Dollar Tree and glued that in the middle. And just so it doesn't topple over, I glued on two small wooden blocks at the back. And this little cutie pie is done. Now for the last DIY, I'm using this pink wooden house sign from Dollar Tree. I tried to remove this little wood strip, but both the glue and the little nails that's on there kept it so intact. I had to apply some heat to this metal scraper tool and use that to loosen up the glue underneath. And it worked. Now my intention was to remove all the paper, but it was a challenge. So I just decided to work with what I have and got my creative juices flowing again in a different direction. And like I said, there are, there are these little tiny nails, so you have to be careful if you decide to remove this piece. So I gave it two coats of apple barrel white paint and painted the strip with some black chalk paint off camera. So looking at it now, because the paper in the corner was still there, I took my pencil and outlined it and gave it a little design. I then painted it with some Waverly chalk paint in Elephant. And off camera, I glued on the strip with some wood glue and clamped it down with these clips from the Dollar Tree. I also used some black paint to give the gray a border. Now this is a stencil from a set of 16 that I have been using for a while. It has the word love on it, so I placed it down and made sure to tape it in place. Now when taping, you want to make sure that you don't cover the area or the words that you want to paint. And once I had that all taped down, it was now time to stencil the word in. Now, as you can see, I had to scoop out some of the paint but because like I said, it's so thick. And I started by sponging it on, but then realized that I needed to use a brush. And when I was done putting the black on, I lifted it to make sure it went on properly and then placed it back down to do the other side.
and here we have it Woo! all dry and looking pretty I added some Mod Podge to seal, seal in the paint and then dry it with some heat and now it's time to embellish I thought this little red heart would look so cute so I added that and here comes the buffalo check ribbon again <laughs> oh, it would not be complete without a little black and white bow <laughs> And just like the other DIY, just so it doesn't topple over, I flipped it and glued on a wooden block at the back. And this beauty is also done. So there you have it, guys. Black and white DIYs for Valentine's. Now, in my estimation or in my opinion these can go all year round let me know in the comments below which of these was your favorite and if this is your first time to my channel don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i upload a new video and also don't forget to check out the host channels as well as the playlist down below and until we see each other again, stay safe. Bye.